Well, hello everyone and welcome to my channel, or welcome back to my channel, and today I'm going to be doing something very, very different, and it's not going to be Bloxburg Text Wrapper or redecorating my Bloxburg house. I'm going to show you guys exactly what's going to be different and why it's going to be different, so let's just get right into this. So if you guys don't know, in here I kind of have like this little locker room and gymnasium. Um, so this gymnasium is not that big. Not that big. We have a little TV here as well. It's just kind of bare and bland. So the reason why it's not going to be like decorating or redecorating my blocks for him is because if you look out here, this roof needs to be finished. So I just want to put on the last bit of this roof, fix up this balcony over here. So I'm just basically going to do like this little speed build. If you guys don't know about it. Um, on this channel, I've been basically redecorating and decorating my Bloxburg house. Uh, there's been a few rooms that I've been redecorating, um, and we have a few slew of rooms to finish. And if you guys, you guys can also see over here, we have this little pool area that I kind of want to also get down and um, working a little bit, because we have a pool over there as well, so I'm probably going to turn this into something different. I can keep the pool here. I don't know. But um, I've been working on my house, if you guys haven't kept up the house hasn't really looked like this i've actually been redoing a lot of the hallways as well so we're gonna try um i'm gonna have to remove everything from here especially this floorboard right here because that's just wonky um so i'm gonna remove everything from here and i'm gonna try to get the floors to match up with here so it's just like it's going like this and it's just not going like sideways like this i think I also have that problem. Yeah, I have also have that problem in here, but I don't want to do that. I'm also going to make the floors a little bit darker as well into bright brown. So uh, what I want to do is I just want to just go into build mode, do a little bit of a speed build. So I'm going to do some commentary on the speed build as well. Um, I'm not going to do before and after shots because you guys can probably get this from here. So it's not a flux flux brick fixer upper, and it is not a um decorating my blocks brick house. It's just basically. Finishing off the last part of my house um, just so I can get the roof on here and stuff like that I've also been working over here as well. You can see the new gate is in this one So I've just been doing a lot of work on this house off camera just so this this series is getting long enough the series of um, uh, Blocks work fixer upper has been getting long enough and I feel like it just it needs to end up with these last few episodes So I'm doing a lot of work off camera so that that way um, There's not a lot that I can do in the series so let's just hop right into build mode. And once I do hop into build mode, that's when exactly when the um, speed build will start. So I'll see you guys um, when the speed build starts. Okay, so now we've hopped into build mode and all I'm gonna do now is just remove the roof and all of the stuff in the inside of this um, locker room slash gymnasium. And you can just definitely see that everything is just going away. Even all the gymnasium stuff that I'm definitely gonna Bring back all the corner pieces are going and leaving. Um, I deleted the floor in the other room just so I can fix the floor. Um, and then I'm just deleting all the wall trim, so everything is going to be a blank and clean state. And now I'm just going to go ahead and just redo the floor. And now every all the wall colors are going to be medium stone gray, just like everything else. And then I'm going to recolor the floor to the color that like it is over there. And then I deleted the wall, and then I deleted all the other floors just so that I can just put them back like that so it can be all one big floor. Then I add a wall right here because I'm going to do like my little bookshelf hack that I did and so it looks like it's a built-in bookshelf. As you can see right here um, I just copied the bookshelves from the living room and putting them in here. I think it gives it or I think it gave the room a really nice touch um, from what I've from what I've done in this room. Um, so this is just um, this was easy just had to get it lined up and get it fitting perfectly in this area. And then what was next was just putting in all the wall trims um, on the bottom and then figuring out what windows I wanted to use. I just went into the living room and just customized the windows just like I've done in every other room. I'm going to try to make it look like it was symmetrical from the outside but not really symmetrical on the inside so I didn't really care. In the corner I just put a chair there. I did delete that later because I moved something else right there. Um, but that bench doesn't stay there either and I didn't move that pillar from there as you guys saw. Um, but now I'm just adding a wall in the middle. I'm trying to find the perfect middle space, which I did. Um, and then I'm putting pillars on each side so I can put the modern wardrobes in there. I'm trying to go with the different wardrobes, but I didn't 
it didn't really fit for my view so I just went with modern wardrobes and just put a flat crown molding on there and then I just did like a little bit of like a grayish color I think that's what that looks like it's a grayish color I tried to do twisted wood but it didn't really work out so I just went with the same colors as the um, uh, bookshelves and just a little bit browner now my next step was to get the roof on and the roof was a pain to make so I just had to color it the same way and so then I removed the snowy top because um just didn't really fit on there for now um so I just had to line up the roof with the walls and so it just looks so nice and clean and neat so I just had to make sure that everything was scaled properly so this area was hard to do as you can see I'm I'm using the scale tool a lot I have a little corner piece um once we get to that I'll show you how hard that was but I think now this just fits in with the rest of the roofs on the house and it just completes the roof um, here as well. So I'm just, so I started doing all the edges first, just like you do in a jigsaw puzzle. So this is kind of like one big jigsaw puzzle roof. Um, so I just put all the edges out on there the same. And then I just rotated that to be, I think that's vertical. Um, I did that vertically. And then I'm just putting in the middle and then finishing off the last edge piece right there um, and fitting it in there. Now I tried to do a triangle piece because that looked like a triangle so I thought that was going to fit. But the scale tool didn't really work with this wedge um, because I forgot how um, scaling Roblox wedges work. So all I did was I just moved the um, two side roof pieces there and I just started just to um, scale this. And I didn't turn out 100% perfect in the end, but it was enough where people aren't going to notice and be like, oh, that's just like all off centered. Because again, this wall, it, it's not all um, rounded. It's not squared off. So it's just like you have that little nice round piece. It just gives a little bit of a shape to the house that I kind of enjoy. Um, but doing this was very hard, as you can see. Um, going back and scaling, going back and scaling, going back and scaling, and I'm just checking each of the corners to make sure that they all fit in a line, because in Roblox Studio, um, a lot of this has to do with, if you know Roblox Studio, then you should know how to build in Bloxburg a little bit, not always, um, but, but that's how basically that's going to go, so I'm just scaling the rest of the roof just so that I can get this all scaled perfect, um, and you can just see a little bit of the piece poking out on the edges, and it doesn't really matter, so I just... Um, I put the windows on each side. Um, there's going to be three three corners of the windows are going to be there, as you can see. So the chair is still there. Now I'm just going to put the punching bags right there. Um, that's where I kept them for most of the video up until the end. Um, so right there, that's all that's going to be. And then I'm putting down my treadmill. So there's going to be three treadmills, two punching bags, and two weight lifting stuff. Um, so I'm just putting the windows there and I realized that there's not enough room so I had to redo the wall there. Um, thankfully it didn't cost me a lot of money. My money is still at 1 million. I'm still at 1 million today so I gotta work to get more money. Um, huh, oh, okay well I'm just now positioning these weights and the, um, the, the lights. Um, the roof is already in so this room is gonna be pretty dark once I um, toggle the roofs back on. Um, so I'm just going to be, I put a painting on the wall, which doesn't say because the door goes on that wall in the end. And now I'm just painting the walls the same color as what was there. Um, and now I am looking for adding carpets. So I'm adding carpets in front of the, what I call the lockers. Um, so in front of the lockers is what's just going to be the, um, carpets so that you can just have your feet there. And then I'm putting some benches so you can sit down. Um, if you're um, there for your workout and you just want to have a seat, you know, have a sit, um, have a seat. Um, so I just went with two benches there, the rustic benches. I really like the rustic benches. Um, I use those really around my house. And then you have in there to wipe off your feet as well before you go into the house if you were outside of the pool. And then I'm just putting two fans there. Um, one of that fan, I think, did end up getting deleted. But now this was the hard part. I did this, I think, for 10 minutes. Or something. I don't know how long this actually took me to do, um, but getting this to look like it was a part of the um, that the that this slant was perfect. Um, I tried to make it so that it fit. So I went through like f I think five or six different variations of this. 
because it just looked so wonky and it didn't really fit. And then you can see there, it's just like, what is this going to look like? Um, and at some point, I just, just did put them over the windows. And then I'm just like, you know, that still looks wonky with that just one uneven space right there. You have that right there, which looked wonky as well. So a lot of this was just trial and error. And you can see definitely putting it over the windows. Um, it was a lot. So um, that's pretty much what there is. So I'm just doing a lot of this right here. And then I just deleted all of those so that that way I can just do it once again. I think at one point I'm just like, okay, you know what? That looks fine. It looks okay. I'm just going to leave it like that. So then I just put the icy edges all around there and I finished off with the um, um, railings on the balcony that I have. Um, it's a very big balcony, if you ask. And so now the icy edges, which I put on all those grooving areas, um, it really just gives a nice touch to it and like, you know, just throws up really quickly. Um, so there's a, there's some stuff I have to do, which is put the snow piles on the, um, gray part of the roof and put some of the snowy edges as well. Um, I feel like this just gives a nice touch and I went with the icicles and I just put them around here just willy nilly. Um, it didn't really have to be just like everywhere, but like, you know, just not a lot of icicles. And I moved that once again. I tried to put the door on that wall. I didn't really Fit. So I just went it through the um, bend, as you can tell right there. Um, and then you obviously see I put the um, fan back there. So it's just now I'm just finishing off the other touches. Um, and while I was doing this, I actually wasn't in full screen mode when I was recording. So you'll see like a little bit of like an edit um, where my screen goes back to full screen. So I just had to prop this video. So it was like that. So now I'm just trying to figure out the perfect lighting for this room. I feel like that in build mode, it was just, um, it was too bright in build mode. And then when I went out, it was nice and cozy and amazing. Um, but yeah, I'm just, I moved, now I'm putting mirrors on that wall so that you can look at yourself while um, you're doing something. Oh my God, I like yawning. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> so now I'm just putting vents around because it's a really nice decoration. Um, so I just kind of did this. And the reason why this wasn't redecorating or decorating my Bonsford house was because this is so different. Um, there was already a room that was there. You can definitely see there. there's the edit of where the um, thing went back to full screen. So um, yeah. But I pretty much have that finished now. It's all done. Okay. So basically I did get this finished. A little bit over here as you can see. Right here there is the new roof that is on there. And then the fencing on here is already finished, so that means that the entire roof and everything is finished. I do have to put some of the snow stuff around here. So I'll do that off camera and put some of the, like the snowy stuff on the roof as well. But I did finish this off and I just made it like a bigger portion of my um um, gymnasium, so you have your two punching bags, you have three weight, you have two weightlifting things, three treadmills, and you just have this nice little big bookcase right here that I thought would make the room look nice. Then in here, you just have the door to go out there. I think that this looks pretty nice, and it just basically I just expanded the room. The reason why I didn't want this to be like a um, black brick fixer upper was that you know, it really didn't with it like okay so I'll, I'll show you why so blockster fixer upper was basically i just redid this entire room like it's just there's a lot more open space now then here you can obviously see that there's a lot more open space but it's just still the same where you still have the lockers right here just like more of those it's just a smaller wall right here so yeah and then if you also take it as well with the redec with um, decorating my blocks work home there's a room down there my study room it was completely empty and this one wasn't so i hope you guys enjoyed the commentary um on this part so um i'm definitely going to do a little, some more work of on this off camera as well just so that it just doesn't look all like this still um i think i like it so i don't know i'm gonna do it off camera or not but there's now a lot more christmas decorations out in my house i'm definitely gonna decorate this room for christmas as well because it's really nice also i have two ceiling fans in here Nice. And I can turn this off and it looks super dark. I really like that. This just looks pretty nice. So I'm probably just going to have some of this right here as well. So this is going to be interesting 
to do this. And I think that this is pretty much all there is that I have in this room. And then later I'll decorate this for Christmas like I did for the rest of my house. Um, I've been doing a lot of off-camera decorating because it's just been a lot. But I feel like this has gotten long enough, so I'll see you guys in the next video whenever I post that. Um, I don't know when. I'm busy this week as well once again, so I'll probably just record and then upload the same day. Also, the elf is going to be arriving today as well, so we'll see if that will upload. And then Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, I'll probably do like an elf hunt video, or if not, I'll do like a compilation of all of those videos. Um, I should be available for those. If not, it's going to be very, very, very late, so definitely check those out. I'll give you some helpful tips with the elf hunt as well. Um, so that's all I have for you guys today, and I hope you guys did enjoy this. Um, if you did enjoy this room, like and subscribe, and turn on post notifications, and join my new Discord server so you never miss out on anything like this. And I also leave teasers for my builds in my description, in my, description, in my, um, in my Discord server. I'll start leaving those once more people start joining. Um, so they're always available in the description, so I'll see you guys later. Bye now!